Hi there, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're all doing well. Um, I wanted to let you know that the mid-November readings have been recorded. And for those of you who purchased prior to November 11th, you should have received an email for uh, each of the signs that you purchased for ac with access details on uh, November 11th to the 12th. Okay, so if you haven't received an email with access, then please email me at alchemyinyou.com at alchemyinyou at gmail.com and um, you get, but you can chat me as well via the chat box um, on the website okay if you've got any technical questions and the like otherwise um, a quick note for those of you who would like to purchase have not yet purchased um, and would like to do so if you purchase, just note that the access details will be sent immediately to you in the Alchemy and You confirmation email for each of the videos that you purchase. Uh, so it's just um, sort of seamless there. Okay. Um, and you can do so via alchemyandyou.com. There should be a banner right at the top of the um, site. And I have the link um, the links in, in the description box below as well that will route you to each of the signs Okay, for purchase. Nonetheless, thank you all so very much again for your support. I appreciate it. And um, for all of your energetic support as well. I'm, I'm so touched by all of you. Thank you so very much. And I'll talk to you soon. So, Bye. Now, there's a contemplation of what our resources are. Not those that are material, financial, tangible, but those that are um, energetic. Our gifts, our talents that are not um, even, I'm hearing a pin, um, pinpoint, I'm hearing pinpoint figure that cannot be um, found I'm hearing prodded on the map that are anonymous. I almost said Virgo, and you have Virgo's card here, the Hermit, in reverse in your energetic pathway, right beneath the Devil, above the Four of Cups in reverse. There is a seeking, okay, of higher ground in a certain way, perspective, by way of harnessing, tapping into, channeling in a certain way, our um, desire, what it is that we have felt um, connects us, not only to what we physically do, but to how we feel when we are physically um, engaged when we are physically present when we're showing up when we're doing what we're here to do in a certain way as a human so to speak I'm getting this for a number of you what I'm hearing keeps us hanging in a certain way be it hanging in terms of remaining or hanging in terms of pending, right? It can be met in a number of ways. It's all perspective. So take it as you will, Capricorn, but there's a sort of emptying out of the pockets. Okay, it's like... <laughs> Santa's got no more gifts sort of feeling like I like I it's time it's time to 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 communicate what has been um, I'm hearing cooking simmering and I may not know what transpires of this revelation technically I don't but it serves to bring form to, to bring light to, 
for my greater understanding of where I stand in relation to others, in relation to um, my, I'm here in my community, the form that I take on in this dimension, I want to understand if and how, I want to understand if what I've been feeling okay, how the change that I make shifts the knowing that I hold, my perspective, my range of perspective. And it's almost like you just want to communicate it to gain a sense of, of, of bearing, of, um, of sort of relative understanding. So it's almost like, I'm going to throw a pebble in the pool. I'm going to see how that pebble, um, I'm hearing drifts. Okay, I'm hearing drought. I want to see what effect that pebble has on um, th something about the surrounding, the periphery, the context. So you, it's like kind of like you want to feel it out. You want to feel it out literally by feeling it out, by communicating, by releasing in a certain way what you